Hey guys, Mike here. Got something cool in the mail today, wanted to share it with you. It's a brown box. I haven't had a brown box. I really am looking forward to this brown box. No, all kidding aside, this is the voice remote for the Dish Hopper 3 DVR. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it here in front of you to show you what's in the box and what the presentation is. And then I'm gonna cut the video and I'm gonna go figure out how to work this bad boy. And then I'm gonna come back and give you a, a quick review on it and a bit of an overview. Now, let me open the box first. Taking out the trusty knife, slicing open the box. I haven't opened this yet. Okay, so inside the box, really not as good of a presentation as you might find from uh, some other retail products, but... And by the way, the good news, I ordered this from Dish, I think just a day or two ago. Charged it to my uh, TV bill and it was here, so very, very fast shipping. Although, when I called to order it, the guy on the phone really had no idea what I was talking about. I said, I'm here to order the Dish uh, voice-controlled remote. And he goes, what is that? I said, so I had to tell him, and he says, well, let me look that up, see if we have that. Because you can't do an online order, the webpage says you get a call. So anyway, he found it, he shipped it, and here it is. So inside the box, you basically got a quick start guide, voice remote quick start guide. Let's take a look at that, okay? So this is kind of pre pretty much how I'm gonna figure out how to use it. So you open it up, got some diagrams. So this may be handy, because I have no idea how to work this voice remote yet. And then inside the box, you've got this uh, remote in a plastic bag. Let me go ahead and cut that bag open. And get that out of there. Don't need the bag. Okay, you got this little sticker, and these basically you put them on the remote just to tell you it goes in a master bedroom, living room, uh, it hooks up to HDMI 1, 2, 3, or the component. So just some handy little things in case you have multiple remotes. And then you got the remote itself, still got the little plastic protection on it. Now, for comparison, this is the normal Hopper 3 remote. And I got this one hooked up to my Joey in my office. Now, you can see the difference. This one is much more, the voice remote is much more minimalistic. So, on the, on the traditional Hopper 3 remote, you've got all your buttons here. Um, one through nine, typical keypad. Channel up, channel down, the, the D-pad for selection. Um, the buttons on the side to choose which input. By comparison, if I look at this, the voice remote, just my first impressions, uh, this is just a blank slate here, so it's like a touchpad. Uh, you got your channel up, channel down buttons. This side, you've still got your, your select buttons, the same ones that are on, on the traditional remote. And then on the other side, which there's nothing on the other side of the traditional remote, turn it over and you got Wah! voice button. And I don't know what the other two buttons are. I'll find them out here in just a few minutes. So. I have no idea how this thing works. Um, brand new, just came out. Uh, looking forward to it. I want to give it a review for you guys. But in theory, I should be able to just tell it what I want to watch. And it watches it. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and, and cut this video. I'm going to go figure this out. And then a little bit later this evening, which will just be a few seconds for you, I'll come back and give you my impressions on this, this cool device here. At least I hope it's cool. By the way, it's about 30 bucks, so it's, it's for a remote control, I don't know, it seems a little pricey for a standard remote, but probably if it does the voice control and everything, not so bad. And it's a one-time expense, not recurring. I love one-time expenses. I hate recurring revenue streams. Okay, be back in a few minutes. Thanks. Puppy dog will not be using voice remote. Wolf? Okay. Okay, I'm here to finish talking to you about the, the Dish voice remote that I started earlier, I did the unboxing, and now I actually know how to work it. So again, like I mentioned earlier, it's different from the standard dish remote. This one's got a lot of buttons, and it's very manual. This one here has a touchpad on it, which is very much like what you would find on a, a laptop computer. Um, beyond that, they're very similar, except a little bit smaller. Now, the other differences are on the right side of the remote. You got a backlight button, which I don't know if you can see it. It basically lights up the, um, the keypad. And the other part, and the important part, is the voice button. So, I can go guide, and the guide will come up. It interprets your voice, and I can scroll through this using the, the touchpad. Next, I can go DVR, and see what shows I've got recorded. So, no buttons, no 
no searching, you just tell it what you want and it does it. I can also search for shows. So the A-Team and it's gonna bring up the A-Team uh, that's in my guide. Also, it'll search on what's on my DVR and it will search on Netflix, which is a feature of the Hopper 3 DVR. So, and you can see here, I've got my seasons that are recorded and I've also got shows that are on, on Netflix itself. Um, in addition, baseball. And it brings up all the various games that are going. In addition to that, I can say Game Finder. Game Finder. You had to hold the button through the entire audio command. Here's my game schedules coming up. It'll show me the scores, and then I can select my game. So Marlins, Mets, Reds, Angels, Padre, Braves, whatever I want. And I can filter that out based on my sports. So that's really about it. Very simple. $30 from Dish. Works with the Hopper 3 DVR. Oh, and pairing it, basically setting it up is you push one button on the DVR, push one button on the remote, you hear this beep, beep, uh, three beeps, they tell you how to do it in the Hopper Quick Start Guide, and then it walks you through setting up the remote for your TV so you can do things like mute and unmute. Orthodox strategies will be there. Pairing it to the TV, you basically just tell it what brand. This happens to be a Vizio 65 inch. First thing it found takes about a minute. Um, what else? That's about it. Again, $30 from Dish. I got it in about two days. They charge it to your TV bill. That's about it. Take care. So I don't see myself using this remote again. Why push buttons when you could just go watch the A-Team? In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team.